What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Baggers and Brews Thirsty Thursday video. Mm -hmm. And today we're doing another New Glarus Brewing Company beer from our friend Iowa Hog Rider. Um, and this one's called Totally Naked and this is a lager. Sweet. Totally so, naked. What do you know? Lager. What do you know about New Glarus? New Glarus. Dan and Deborah Carey. It's their uh, their brewery in Wisconsin. Uh, we did one of their beers earlier. All natural ingredients. They uh, don't pull any punches. It's uh, this is a lager. So long fermented, cold fermented beer should be crisp, clean. They use. Um, Noble hops in this, so Czech and German hops. So probably, if I had to guess, like Hellertal hops are in there. That's a that's a noble German. There's a number of them. Uh, Saz hops as well. So should be good. Should be clean. If it's any representation of what we had from them before, it should be a, a very straightforward beer. Yeah. And uh, it's a lager, so this kind of is going up against our hometown Yingling. And took a peek yeah. at uh, Untapped and. At least one person gave this a five out of five. Whoa. So be curious to see if that person was tuned up when they did that or if this is legit. So I rate beers kind of high on untapped, right? Because I rate them necessarily by style, not necessarily even if I don't love that style, if it's a good representation of that style, I keep that in mind obviously when I'm rating the yeah. beer. Um, but I don't know that I've handed out more than one five ever. I, I've never given a five. I don't think I've given a five. No, nope. I think I'm that mm. teacher that's like you're never gonna get a five. Well, you should <laughs> strive for a five, but I'm never gonna give you one. Death of civilization in slow motion from Majority Brewing was. Yeah, we might bad. have to read. That was back in the. Uh, yeah, back in the Tavor days. We might have to reopen that account. <laughs> Start experimenting a little bit. So. Yeah, I'm thirsty. Let's uh, let's see if this is a five or not. I'm thirsty. Let's go goodness this oh, is oh that's like yo and like crystal clear I, I'm, wow. not, I'm not passing judgment well but there's only one lager i know that is that clean and light and that is budweiser budweiser bud wise er but i could totally like see yeah. my finger but <laughs> see what the nose says mm. oh it smells nice I guess we're toasting since it's champagne. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It smells like blood. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it smells. It smells really clean. I, I like this place. It smells rosy. From, from smelling it, you like it. I'm just liking this brewery. I, I'm not getting any smoke. I've been stuffed mm -hmm. up lately, though. So. Oh, we skipped to the drinking portion of, the, of this program. Look, we, he, we did already. <laughs> Cheers. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. Is this Stella? No, it's much better than Stella. It's like Stella. Hmm. Yo, it's clean. I, I mean, just like the prior beer. We uh, well, we could figure that glass. out since it's see through. It's uh, it's it's clean. It's a clean lager, almost a little pilsnery, but it's got a very German vibe. Yeah, it does yes. have a very German. Yes, vibe. it does. And that's uh, and that's not a bad thing. No, that, and and that's that's their vibe. I mean, they're you know very not basic, not very... a lot of fancy, but you know I I love a beer like this that has done well, and yeah. it, it's my beef with a lot of breweries because these breweries come out and they're like. Well, we're going to do the, you know, cherry roasted almond aged in oak, yada, 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 yada. But they've never put out a, they've never put out like the pure style of that beer. Right. You know? Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. This is very simplistic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but like just proper. You know the only problem with this beer right now? Seriously? Is that you don't have something that you're about to pair it with. No. That we're, I'm, not, I'm not drinking <laughs> it out of so a mug. I'm not drinking it out of a mug that's a like this big. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. A German Stein? Mm. Get some of those down here. Definitely somewhere. a Stein beer. Big old mug. Well, yeah, very Oktoberfest-ish. Not Oktoberfest beer, but just well, season. Like, and Oktoberfest, which is... 
to you know to talk beer a minute is a Marzen, right? So the Oktoberfest that people think of that like darker ale Oktoberfest. This is more of what they would consider, if talking that way, a fest beer. So the fest beer is the lighter, you know, the lighter Oktoberfest okay. that you see. You see the Polana girls with the, you know, they're at Oktoberfest, but they got the huge mugs of the of the lighter beer, and this is, you know. I just feel like I should be hanging out with the Griswolds drinking this. <laughs> Can't help you with that. <laughs> no, no, Clark is. no. Say it ain't so. No, 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 no. Put no in the way. comments down there, please. Drinking this while Rusty's getting busy. <laughs> maybe, maybe instead in, instead of doing food pairings, you should do movie pairings. Ooh, I just did. Oh, see, so yeah, that's one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Started here today. New trend. So listen, it is it, it is a lager. It's nice. It's clean. A um, little bit of hop character. Definitely hop character on the nose. You know. Yeah. More on the nose than. I'm thinking Heller Tau. Certainly not. Better. But maybe somebody from uh, New Glarus can tell me if I'm wrong. But I'm feeling the Heller Tau. I dig it for what it is. Mm -hmm. Again, very clean, very crisp, very as it should very be. Very simple. I would take this over one of the big box store. Oh yeah, big box beers. That's I think I said this. Sure. I think I said this before, but I, I would take this over Yingling. Mmm, <laughs> this and mm, I don't know. I'm not man. sure. I'm not sure on this one. This is the type of lager I like. Very simple. Yeah, clean, simple, light. Simple. Well, I wasn't around, so I can't really say, but it seems like it would be very historically correct, and it's like purest form of what it should taste like. Right, right. And that's, again, New Glarus, you know, does live by the Bavarian purity laws. Right. Uh, which, um, actually, we could do a whole video on, on the purity laws. Can we, though? We could. Let us know if you want to see that. I don't think they want to do it. But it would be good. Listen, I'll sit here and drink beer while you talk. We, we could do that. We could, we could drink some German beer and talk about purity laws. Sounds like a plan. We'll, we'll get that on the books. <laughs> we'll get that on the books. Wait, so, am I traveling mm. again? Thoughts? <laughs> Thoughts? It's it's good. It's uh, not a five. It, it I'm is, not giving it a five at all. No. It is not a five. Uh, this for me would be around a three. Wow. Mm. Three? Around a That's three. average. He's harder than average, huh? Yeah, that's not. But fair. he doesn't. He doesn't grade like you. That's not fair. No. He grades purely on whether or not he liked it or not. Yes. He doesn't take. I don't grade other by what kind of beer it is or anything like that. Is if I like it, I give it a score. If I don't like it, I give it a lower score. But at this, uh, I'm half and half. It's got that that taste for me that that uh. It's not my type of beer. All right. Just. Not my so there's one Debbie Downer. It is group. good. It is good, <laughs> but it's not my type. Mmm. Mm. Kind of like dark haired dudes. Yeah, not my type either. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I already said my piece. I'm 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 a four good, I'm, I'm a four and a halfer. Four yeah. and a halfer. I'm closer to You closer to three? No, no, no. I'm three no, seven think, five four. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm I'm a four and a half or three, I, seven, I, five, I think four. I think from a from a furry perspective, I mean this is you know this is as good a lager as you put out. If I graded it strictly on the type of beer it is and and how it should taste, I would I would be higher. Yeah. But I'm also factoring in the fact that my style of beer the style, the stuff that you in make. with that. If I did if it wasn't mm -hmm. so good as far as to, to, to like true to, to what it should mm -hmm. be. I'd be lower. Yeah, it's because it's not my style. It's but, good. I like it. Which is, I can't really say it's not my style. I mean, I like lagers, but so, good lord, how long did I drink Yinglings for? You know, years. I mean, we yeah. all drank Yinglings for years. So that's how we saw. Hey, mm -hmm. we drank Yinglings all the time. So there so, you have it. So let us know uh, what lagers you like and what lagers you drink. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we're from Philly, so our dominating lager here is 
Yang- is the Yangling. Yeah, we're not from Philly. Yeah. Well, we're it's Philly region, so I mean, we're from Jersey, but I mean, our 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 box local lager is Yangling. Absolutely. Um, I feel like lagers aren't a dominant beer in our craft beer community no. because they no. do take longer to brew. I mean, to not to brew, but you know, to ferment. So. I enjoy this. I think it's cool to have a, a good craft beer um, lager. So that's why I, yeah. st- I stand at my four and a half. Cool. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. So listen, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you're from New Glarus, leave us a comment. I want to know what hops are in this beer. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yes. Secrets. I mean, second New Glarus beer we've done, and yeah. both we we you yeah. know enjoyed. Even though if even if it wasn't our style, it was still, it's still enjoyed it. Yeah. Still a very good beer. Yeah, a very well made beer. Mm-hmm. So, Absolutely. So thank you for that. All right. All right. All right. We'll next. See you next time.